Well, hello again. Today's video is on the variable release. On the last video, I touched quickly on what the knobs and levers do, and I talked about the variable release, and so oftentimes they're not working. I wanted to show you how to get that working. It's a very simple procedure and very worth doing if yours is not working. And the way to check that is this is the ratchet release. So go ahead and apply forward pressure to that while you're turning the right platen knob. And if it's working properly, your platen will move and that gear will not. So it should work about like that. You can see that platen turning. And most of the time they're gummed up right there so they don't work. So what we wanna do with that is right next to this gear, you'll see a flat spring. Either side of that spring will be screws. So go ahead and, go ahead and loosen those screws up and let me show you what it looks like on the inside of this, inside of that gear. It's actually two pieces, and you can see that there. And what we're going to do is we're going to put some oil around here to hopefully soak in and loosen those, that connection. So after you get the screws loose, apply a little oil where you see that. Uh, you have to look real close, but you can see where the uh, two pieces come together, that section. So put a little oil in there, and then... Sometimes that'll work, that'll get that loose, and all you have to do is uh, tighten the screws and you're in business. Sometimes it still doesn't work, so what I do is I'll take that screwdriver that I use to undo the screws, and I'll stick it in between, slide it in between the side of the platen and that gear, and I'll put a little upward pressure on that gear, and then I'll turn it and go all the way around that gear by just turning and applying pressure all the way around. And the most I've had to go around is two times till that broke, broke loose. Most of the time, just a couple lifts on that gear and it'll break loose. Uh, oil breaks loose and it gets a little dirty. So I'll clean that up, tighten the screws up. So I hope this video helps and it's a quick little procedure to get that working. It's always nice to have the functions working on your Oliver.